this and thank you so much, but I don't think we're a good match and I'd like to have someone else. channel it's your girl Dom LaShawn and we what we back at it again this is your first time here welcome welcome come on in and grab a seat we talk about lifestyle self-development and love and all the things that fall underneath those three things okay so if you're interested in that make sure you go ahead and subscribe click the bell you know listen you're not gonna want to miss it however for the girlies that are already subscribed aka the certified babes Hey, babe, you already know the vibes, okay? So let's just go ahead and move on into the topic at hand, okay? We're going to be talking about therapy today because I, I y'all, listen, I am like a crusader for therapy. I feel like at this point, I'm always like, do you go to therapy? Do you go to therapy? Therapy is good. Therapy is great. Even if you feel like you don't need it, go tell somebody. What's going on? I bet they can hear some things that you can't hear. Yeah, therapy this, therapy that, yada, yada, yada. In my past life, maybe I was a therapist. I don't know. But um, I'm, I'm pro-therapy. And I want to go ahead and share this short and sweet video with you guys because I know people still have like a lot of questions about what therapy actually is, different forms of therapy, how to get involved in it, um, and what it does for me and all the rest of that. And I haven't really done like anything long form in regards to what therapy is. So I just figured that this was the best opportunity. If you are in a space where you are thinking about therapy or you're thinking about embarking on uh, developing a relationship with the therapist, I think this is um, going to be a great video for you. So let's just go ahead and start with um, the types of therapy. And I'm gonna be looking at my laptop because I have all the notes here and I don't wanna miss anything. So first, there are five types of therapy, okay? So there's psychoanalysis and psychodynamic therapies. There are behavior therapy, cognitive therapy, humanistic therapy, integrative or holistic therapy, okay? And then there are different kinds that fall in between, you know? You might be having some trauma um, therapy that is needed or some therapy needed for sex or sexual behaviors or you need some therapy for uh, different things like that but in terms of like your mind those are the five like basic um, explanations or categories for therapy okay and depending on what you have going on you will choose a therapist that has a specialty in either one of those okay so Let's get into the second part. Different therapists provide different things. Some um, therapists can prescribe medicines and different things like that, and they need a certain certification or a certain degree to be able to do that. And I believe it's a doctorate. Um, psychiatrists normally can pr prescribe meds, um, and therapists normally can refer you to get meds, I believe if it is needed for whatever condition you will be treating in therapy, okay? So that's that. Um, but normally what happens when you find a therapist, right? You might look at some different um, some different um, providers or call some different um, therapy firms. I'm not really sure what you would call them. <laughs> but, um, and you would find a therapist that um, you're interested in speaking with. And I know when I first started, I was just calling around like, hey, I'm looking for a therapist. I didn't know what kind of therapist I needed. And I've been going to therapy off and on since I was a young person because I uh, lost my dad as a young person. And then there was just like a lot of little other things that were going on in my life. So therapy was definitely something that I was not unfamiliar with as an adult. So I'll be fair. It, it it wasn't anything that I was like, oh my God, I need a therapist. It was just an ongoing thing off and on over the years. But um, as an adult, when I decided that I wanted to go and reimburse myself in therapy, I literally just called my insurance and was like, hey, I'm looking for a therapist. I'm not sure what kind I need, but I would like to talk to someone um, to basically, I got some things on my chat. Okay, and so what they did was they then sent me a catalog of providers that provided therapy services. And I looked through the providers and then I selected some that were like in my area. 
and I just blindly call them. Like, hey, I'm looking for a therapist. Do you guys have any openings? Are you guys accepting any clients? Et cetera, et cetera. And I think this go round recently, I um, found like two, no three. I called one. It was like, oh, we supposed to, you know, we were supposed to talk or whatever and it didn't work, didn't work out. And then I called another and that I wasn't really feeling shorty. And then the, the one that I got, I love her and I've been with her ever since. And how that goes is you talk to someone, they ask you, well, what brings you here? Why do you wanna, why are you seeking the therapist? Uh, you know, anything in particular bothering you, what's going on. And then you basically kind of do like a consultation with them. They basically like ask you all these different questions. And then sometimes they'll have a nurse consult you because the nurse will be the person who, who would possibly be prescribing medications to you if you were to need it. And, um, and that was a case in my case where I was interviewed by a nurse as well. I didn't end up needing any medications, but that is a formality that this particular firm or this particular therapy center did right so um and then i was matched up with my therapist when i met her you talk initially the first uh the first meeting is normally like a get to know you meet and greet whatever and then as you talk to that person they just kind of try to see what's going on there what you feel like you're struggling with what you feel like you have going on and then from there they kind of sorry i'm looking at my viewfinder and then from there they kind of figure out what their course of action with treatment is going to be for you. And um, when they do the consultation, that is normally where they decide what kind of therapy you need. Sometimes this will happen on the first day when you talk to your actual therapist, or sometimes it will happen during the consultation where they're deciding which therapist to give you. Um, and they'll decide on which of those five categories you need um, a therapist that specializes in, if that makes sense. So that was normally, in my, in my recollection of having therapy, that's normally how it goes. You look for a therapist. You get asked a couple questions, have a little consultation. You get aligned with a therapist. You like therapists or you don't like therapists. Boom. I love my current therapist. Um, but there have been a time, there have been times where I did not like my therapist. And in that case, I just don't see them no more hi you call that firm back and you say hi you know i've been linked up with a therapist and thank you so much but i don't think we're a good match and i'd like to have someone else they'll reassign you baby remember this is a service that is it's optional <laughs> you don't have to go and so one especially if you're paying with it paying for it out of pocket or if you're paying for it via insurance somebody's still paying for it so you do get to select uh who you speak with and obviously this is a mental health thing so they're not going to stick you somewhere that someone is exacerbating your mental health issue or whatever it is that you would like to uh get some therapy in you understand so you're not stuck with some random person that you don't like that you're not vibing with it's literally like a relationship. You meet them, you kind of date around with them, telling them your business, they ask you your questions, all that. You decide you don't like it, you, you don't have to go back to that person. You can select someone else. And these people, I know for a lot of people, they're like, oh my God, you're telling somebody your business and you skipping around, da, da, da. For me, I love when I found my therapist because I, I could actually stick and, and we could actually get into some things and she could actually say, remember in the beginning you were this and thinking this and then now you're not thinking this? Wow, the growth, right? Okay, boom. But also, if I decided not to go to her again, she can't do my business to nobody. Literally, she will ball up her little notes and pitch them in the trash because I'm, I'm, I wouldn't even be her client anymore. And that's why I also promote therapy because when you're telling your business or you're venting, you're telling people who can literally tell anyone else. But when you're telling your therapist, they can't tell your business, mama. Like they're paid. HIPAA violation will snatch all of their certifications. They can't tell anybody your business. And so there's a safety net there for your deepest, darkest, or your most vulnerable, like your most vulnerable thoughts. And I think that's amazing. For, for those who are thinking about therapy, it is not as random as you think it is. And therapists are people too. Most times they have their own therapist. There's no shame in talking to someone that is paid to not, like, to not tell your business. 
and also educated enough to be able to hear where something can be reframed, something might not be healthy, or something may be kind of hard that you might be, you know, um, struggling through, as well as congratulating you when you reach a certain milestone or reminding you of where you used to be and now you are no longer there, helping you navigate through relationships and provide uh, catalytic things that will open you up to be emotionally available, to develop emotional intelligence. You don't have to have anything wrong with you to be able to grow in therapy. So I just wanted to share this quick video. Um, you can find therapy through your insurance or just on Google. Uh, do your own search. I hope this video was uh, reasonable and useful for you and resonated with you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.